Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Now a teaser trailer has dropped for the Warcraft movie in anticipation of the full trailer which is going to arrive in a few days time. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to sift through some of the footage, see if I can see anything which might lead us to some little secrets, some little thoughts, and also just little shout outs for us World of Warcraft fans. But... Because I'm going to do that, I might go into a little bit of spoiler territory. So if you don't want to know anything about the Warcraft movie that it's going to be based on, or the lore that it's going to be based on, then probably not the video for you to watch. Otherwise, let's see what we can find. So it all starts off with what I believe to be King Lane Rin running out of a room, possibly his bedroom, uh, because he actually doesn't have any boots on. He's barefoot, so he's clearly in a bit of a rush. Leaping off a balcony onto an awaiting griffin which flies by and catches him. Very reminiscent of Man of Steel when Jarrell does the same. Um, but if you look at the scenery behind, lots of mountains, but he's clearly high up in some sort of citadel or keep or castle. I believe this is the top of Stormwind Keep. If I was to go onto live servers and kind of give an example, I think this could possibly be the area which they're trying to recreate in the movie. If so, nice little shout out. Next up, we have an absolutely gorgeous, and I mean gorgeous, shot of Stormwind. Now, somebody that doesn't have any idea about the world of Warcraft would still look at this and appreciate it for what it is. But if you are a World of Warcraft fan, oh my goodness, there's so many little things in here which you could really pick up on. Number one, this is such a good recreation of the front of Stormwind. The two towers, the area in front of it, and then you've got the front gate with the two little towers on the side and then the two bigger battlements next to it. If I flick over... To the live footage, it's just, ah, oh, it's so well done. And on top of that, if we look a little bit further off into the background, we see another rather large construct that, to me, looks absolutely like Stormwind Cathedral. And again, very, very close lore-wise to what we see in-game. It has a very different kind of feel to a lot of the aesthetic. It's very kind of jagged and pointy. Um, so again, it's just, this is an amazing pan shot. Absolutely amazing pan shot. And it got my, my little ticker, my little ticker pumping when I saw it. Very, very exciting to see. Now, for this piece of footage, I think we're actually really going into spoiler territory. So if you don't want to know, it's another chance to kind of mute me. Uh, you'll probably see where the arrows are going to go, but at least you won't hear what I'm saying in relation to them. But first things first, I think this is set outside the front of Stormwind Keep. Again, if I just flip on over to the live servers, you notice how the recreation is pretty darn good there? So that's where I think we are here. And they have elevated Stormwind Keep in Stormwind to be very much higher than the rest of the city. Um, it's a movie. They've got to have some sort of artistic license. You get a feel for how much it looks out over Stormwind from the next shot. But let's return back to the original because I think there is a plethora of secrets to be had here. So first things first, who is who in this scene? Well, let's deal with the two protagonists in the centre of it. I believe the chap on the left-hand side is actually Anduin Lothar with his sword held aloft. And the woman next to him is Queen Taria Rin, a brand new lore character that's been brought in for this movie and the wife of King Lane. If we look to the left-hand side, this little chappy down here, yes, I think this long-haired person is a boy and not a girl, is actually a very young Varian Rin, who is the son, of course, of King Lane and Queen Taria. And then on the right-hand side, this rather mysterious chap, I think 
is Kadga. Now, it could be Mediv, but I'm going for Kadga. And the reason why I'm going for Kadga is, first of all, I don't think Mediv would actually fit being there. Uh, because if you know anything about the lore of Mediv, he was actually responsible for the Horde coming through the Dark Portal. So I wouldn't see him aligned with the Alliance at this point. And uh, secondly... That character looks very similar indeed to the Kadga of old. Not the Kadga that we know in the games at the moment, but the Kadga from the Burning Crusade, Shatrath City, and also the Kadga statue from outside the front of Stormwind. But the bigger question is, what exactly is happening in this scene? Well, if you look at the two guards at the front and the one at the back, they have their heads bowed down. And I don't think it's in respect because the Queen and Anduin Lothar are here. I think they're bowed down in mourning. Because if you look behind Taria and Anduin, you'll notice what appears to be a casket and if there's a casket there's a dead body inside of it and even closer inspection just to the right of Taria you can also see a crown I believe that this is the casket for the dead King Lane Rin I believe this is actually taking place after he's been assassinated by Garona which begs another question, just when exactly in the timeline of the movie does this occur? And does that mean that King Lane Rin isn't actually the protagonist of this movie, and Anduin Lothar, for the Alliance at least, is? Some very interesting questions to be asked here. But if he is the protagonist, then is this one of the very final scenes of the movie and they've given away a money shot? I sincerely hope not. And quickly jumping back to the other side of this scene, you'll notice there's a set of dignitaries at the front here, but on the front row on the right hand side... High Elves. Yeah, there definitely looks to be some High Elves there, which is very exciting indeed, with their long ears uh, looking very, very sexy. Oof, exposed midriffs as well. Next up, we have another amazing panoramic view here, but we get our first glimpse at some of the Orcs, and that definitely looks to be Durotar and also Ogrim Doomhammer at the front there. But where exactly are they? Because this doesn't look like Draenor to me. The architecture doesn't match. So let's see if we can find a few little hints and tips. What's that over there? Kind of looks like a little bit like a pumpkin field. What's this little scoundrel in the field? That looks like a harvester. And just look at the tower and the buildings. I reckon this is Westfall. If I flick on over to the live servers, this very much looks like Westfall to me. And it appears that they've gone through the dark portal and this is where they've ended up. So they've kind of traversed a long way round uh, to get to Stormwind. So they are not far away now at all. You can also see a building on fire and plenty of smoke rising from other areas as well. There is definitely some conflict going on here. And if we jump to the next scene, then we see what appears to be King Lane Rin on that griffin from the very first shot of the trailer. So was he alerted that the Horde have arrived in Westfall and he literally flew from his bedroom in Stormwind Keep all the way over to lend a hand with no boots on? Who is this guy? John McLean? We then go to a very quick cutaway shot of some orcs charging in the snow, but a lot to be learned here. Number one, snow. So does this mean that the fight is also taking place at Dunmoreau? And number two, the orc is green-skinned, not brown-skinned like the orcs in the Westfall picture. So these ones are corrupted by the blood of Manoroth, whereas the brown-skinned ones aren't. Also, Dunmoreau and Westfall. And what's in the middle of those two? Stormwind. So does this mean that the fell corrupted orcs are literally making their way, trying to charge through to take Stormwind, to take Ironforge, and are the brown skin orcs maybe a little bit more peaceful? Not wanting to get involved in this, just looking for somewhere to settle, but they're just getting caught up in this war. It could lend itself to some very interesting storytelling. We then get a nice little shot of a frost wolf uh, appearing to bite the head 
off an Alliance soldier. Poor guy. Then a nice little visual of a lightning strike on uh, what appears to be a rather large mountain. Is this Blackrock Mountain? I mean, it could be on Draenor as the portal's opening and stuff, but I don't know. I've got a sneaky suspicion that this is Blackrock Mountain here. Another quick cutaway, this time to an Alliance soldier shooting a rifle, a blunderbuss, uh, and it gives out this almighty kind of like explosion from the front. So whoever's in the front of that when he fires it, yeah, don't hold out too many chances of their survival. And then finally it cuts away to an orc, because, you know, horde. Uh, I don't know if this is one of the main characters or just a generic orc. It looks like a green-skinned orc, I think, from the tinge in the sky, and he just swooshes his axe and it cuts across the screen. So if there was an Alliance soldier underneath that, RIP. Um, so all in all, yeah, I like the trailer, teaser trailer. Don't worry, I'll break down uh, the larger one when it arrives. I do have to say, though, that some of the CGI did look pretty ropey, especially the scene outside of the front of Stormwind Keep. There was quite a few moments there. You saw like, Ugh. okay, but it's still in post-production. So you never know. Certain things might get tightened up for that, but very encouraging. I've got to say, very encouraging indeed. So let me know what you guys and gals think in the comments down below. And I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Links are in the description down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.